In the six decades since the establishment of NASA, space exploration has led to several groundbreaking discoveries about our universe. The space organization has played a pivotal role in unraveling a multitude of enigmatic aspects concerning our planet and the universe beyond. Recently, NASA observed that the sun at the center of our solar system is undergoing terrifying changes to its structure. Scientists consider these changes unprecedented and terrifying. They have issued a grave warning, suggesting that the ongoing changes in our sun may wield catastrophic consequences for our planet and by extension, the continuation of life as we know it. So, what is happening to the sun, and how will it affect us? Join us today as we look at NASA's latest revelation on how the sun could destroy the Earth in 2025. Before we start, click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. According to scientists, our sun is a yellow dwarf star, resembling a fiery sphere composed predominantly of hydrogen and helium, positioned at the center of our solar system. Remarkably, the sun boasts an age surpassing 4 billion years and serves as the primary catalyst for life as we know it. The sun is situated at a staggering distance of approximately 93 million miles from our planet. Moreover, it dwarfs the Earth in size, boasting dimensions nearly 100 times greater, with a colossal radius spanning 695,000 kilometers and a mass exceeding that of Earth's by 330,000. The sun presents an extensive realm of uncharted territory awaiting exploration. The sun's gravity is responsible for keeping the solar system running, ensuring that everything from the biggest planets to the smallest bits of debris is moving in orbit around it. Given its importance to our solar system, scientists have been studying the sun for years and have recently become afraid of the consequences of its new behaviors. To understand these recent changes in behavior, we would have to know how the sun operates in relation to our planet and other bodies in our solar system. The temperature at the core of the sun, which is its innermost region, is around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's beyond anything you can imagine as a human. On the other hand, the surface of the sun, which is the part of the sun that we can see known as the photosphere, is much cooler at about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mysteriously though the sun's outer atmosphere known as the corona gets hotter the further away it gets from the surface. With temperatures reaching over 3 million degrees Fahrenheit, the corona is much hotter than the photosphere. Structurally the sun has many regions on its exterior. The visible surface known as the photosphere, followed by the transition zone and then the corona, which is the sun's expansive outer atmosphere. Once a material leaves the corona at supersonic speeds it becomes the solar wind, which forms a huge magnetic bubble around the sun called the heliosphere. This heliosphere extends beyond the orbit of the planets in our solar system, thus, Earth exists inside the sun's atmosphere. Outside of this heliosphere is what is referred to as interstellar space. Inside the sun's atmosphere is where features like sunspots, coronal holes and solar flares can be observed, and it is here that scientists have recorded terrifying occurrences lately. On January 6, 2023, a powerful solar flare erupted from the surface of the sun. It was the first X-class flare noticed in about two months. The X-class flares are the strongest type of flares on the flare intensity scale. Within a few days, two other X-class flares were observed marking a distinct rise in the frequency of solar activities and speculations about their possible effects on human life. While eruptions from the sun are not unusual, what is alarming is that the increased activities are significantly higher than the official NASA predictions for the current solar cycle. Just like the storms, seasons and climate changes that we have on Earth, the sun regularly experiences a cycle of weather. This is marked by periods of high and low activities and every cycle lasts for 11 years. It's the space equivalent of hurricane season, and we're coming into another one. Solar cycles are repetitive yet difficult to predict. A cycle can be as short as 8 years or as long as 14 years and varies dramatically in intensity. The current cycle, Solar Cycle 25, began in December 2019. 
When the solar cycle is at peak activity, it is called the solar maximum. The solar maximum happens roughly in the middle of each cycle. Researchers predict that the sun may reach the peak of its current activity and bring forth a solar maximum somewhere around 2025. But even after the sun reaches its peak, its wrath will continue to threaten Earth for at least the next five years. The solar cycle is driven by the sun's magnetic field. Every 11 years or so, the sun's magnetic field flips, so north becomes south and south becomes north. Changes in the sun's magnetic field affect the amount of activity on the solar surface. When the sun's magnetic poles flip, the effects ripple through the solar system since the heliosphere extends billions of miles or kilometers beyond Pluto. Planets without a protective magnetosphere such as Venus feel the full impact. In 2006, a small coronal mass ejection from the sun hit Venus and stripped the planet's atmosphere of vast amounts of oxygen. Are you wondering how the solar cycle could affect Earth? Before we discuss that, it's important to learn about the upcoming solar maximum itself. Scientists use sunspots to track solar cycle progress. The dark blotches on the sun are associated with solar activity, often as the origins for giant explosions, such as solar flares or coronal mass ejections, which can spew light, energy, and solar material into space. The current solar cycle will reach about 185 monthly sunspots during its maximum and thus be somewhat milder than what NASA originally forecasted. This peak intensity will place this cycle at about the average compared to the historical record. But be aware, just because it's an average solar cycle, doesn't mean there is no risk of extreme space weather. According to official predictions, the current cycle which kicked off in 2019 was supposed to be extremely mild, peaking with about 115 monthly sunspots in 2025. Cycle 25 followed the extremely weak Cycle 24, and NASA thought it would be just as underwhelming. However, since Cycle 25 picked up momentum in 2022, it has been steadily outpacing the official predictions. It turns out that solar cycle forecasting is still rather rudimentary, and with only 25 cycles on record, the amount of data available for computer modeling is limited. With the data available, NASA expects the sun's magnetic field to flip in mid-2024, with the solar maximum of the current solar cycle to arrive a few months later. How does the solar cycle affect Earth? During a solar maximum, Space weather can pose a risk to communications on Earth, satellites, and even spacewalking astronauts. One spectacular side effect of increased solar activity during the solar cycle is increased opportunities to see auroras, the aurora borealis or northern lights and its southern counterpart, the aurora australis. When the energetic particles from the sun slam into and interact with Earth's upper atmosphere, dazzling light shows illuminate the sky. The color of the aurora depends on what chemicals in Earth's atmosphere the particles hit. Red hues are produced from collisions with nitrogen molecules, and green is produced by oxygen molecules. According to NASA, there are three main ways heightened solar activity can affect Earth. Large solar flares can lead to a radio blackout storm on Earth, whereby electromagnetic energy disrupts the Earth's upper atmosphere. This disruption occurs mainly in the ionosphere, where long-distance communication signals travel and can lead to radio blackouts across the world. The heightened activity in the sun can potentially disrupt the large-scale infrastructure of communication and even cause an internet apocalypse. But NASA has not yet commented on the possibility of an internet outage caused by a solar storm by 2025. Solar radiation storms can also emit fast-moving charged particles, which carry a lot of energy and can endanger astronauts and Earth-orbiting spacecrafts. During these storms, astronauts on the International Space Station may be asked to seek shelter and all extravehicular activities are paused. Radiation-sensitive systems on satellites are powered down until the radiation storm has passed. Solar storms can cause satellites to fall from orbit, in February 2022, 
SpaceX lost a batch of 40 brand new Starlink satellites after launching them into what forecasters considered to be only a mild solar storm. One to three days after a solar eruption pointed toward Earth, a giant coronal mass ejection can hit Earth's magnetosphere and induce currents in electrical systems on Earth. Power grids are particularly vulnerable to such surges in energy, which can cause major blackouts. Notable blackouts caused by geomagnetic storms are the 1989 blackout across the entire province of Quebec, Canada, and the 2003 blackout across the eastern U.S. and parts of Canada. A severe solar storm can damage the undersea communication cables, leading to interruption of long-distance connectivity. The outages caused by it can last for months, and there could be a devastating economic impact of more than $11 billion in just one day for the U.S. alone. It is important to predict and monitor solar cycles so that we are prepared for changes in solar activity. The World Data Center for the Sunspot Index and long-term solar observations at the Royal Observatory of Belgium monitors and predicts the solar cycle, tracking sunspots and recording the highs and lows of the solar cycle. NASA and NOAA scientists also form a regular solar cycle prediction panel to evaluate solar activity. Understanding the solar cycle and being able to predict when a new cycle will arise is a key part of space weather forecasting. Scientists hope one day to be able to forecast space weather, much like meteorologists do here on Earth. We are interested to hear your thoughts about this upcoming solar event. Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.